Hey, this is Dr. Lowenstein, and I'm trying to do some videos uh, responding to some questions that we got. Um, and one of, one of the patients um, asked some very specific questions about her case, and I, those are not answer, questions I can answer on social media. It's just, it's number one, it's not appropriate. Number two, it's not responsible. Um, and so, you know, individual questions about each person's case we can talk about on the phone in, in, in a more private setting. Um, but uh, her questions were more global. So uh, she had a radiofrequency ablation that was successful. And her question is, if that was successful, and but RFA is usually temporary and her symptoms are coming back, um, if that was successful, is it likely that surgery will help? And the answer is a resounding yes with a big capital Y. Um, I still will do my injection mapping, but if you have had a, a local nerve therapy like RFA, and it has worked in the past, it is very likely that your problem is uh, inflammation of the nerve that was treated, and that um, surgery should provide a more permanent solution to uh, decompressing and uh, reducing the irritation of that nerve, um, as opposed to the um, less invasive uh, issues that are usually um, less permanent, like radiofrequency ablation. So. Uh, if you've had that in the past and it's worked, then you are likely, not positively, because I'm this is this is medicine, and I'm never going to say 100%. But it is very likely that if you've had a successful RFA treatment, um, you're you're likely a good candidate uh, for surgery. All right, and let's see, she had another question, which is um, related to occipital neuralgia. So she has occipital neuralgia. Um, and this, this surgery is called migraine surgery, but indeed it is for both migraines as well as occipital neuralgia. So the, the surgery is um, very successful with occipital neuralgia, and it's very common to get migraine symptoms uh, following occipital neuralgia symptoms. Uh, that's actually part of occipital neuralgia. And so when we operate on patients who have occipital neuralgia, um, we expect those symptoms to resolve after surgery as, as well as the migraine. So um, now again, I can't guarantee that every patient uh, will uh, experience um, any specific outcome. Um, so I hope to talk to this person uh, in, in person or uh, at least on the phone. But um, if you've had RFA, you're likely a good candidate and if you have occipital neuralgia, this surgery um, does address occipital, ne occipital neuralgia uh, and its associated symptoms. Okay, hope that's helpful and uh, love the questions. Keep them coming and uh, uh, hope you have a pain-free week. All right, take care.